welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Powder Yetis. It's going to be our next meme tier deck. We're going to be playing a deck that, that cares about plunder a bunch with the two regions that care about plunder with those keywords with Freljord and Bilgewater. Uh, we're going to be doing... Uh, so with the plunder, we're going to have Jagged Taskmaster, grant all our one cost allies everywhere, plus one, plus zero. And so that's going to help out. We we have uh, these nine. We got Crackshot Corsair, which of course helps turn on plunder, Jagged Butcher and Omen Hawk. But then also, as far as other one cost allies go, we have Monkey Idol, bringing in Powder Monkeys, so we can make these um, attack for more. And then we can also have Enraged Yeti. So we're going to have Enraged Yeti with Jagged Taskmaster, make these six fives, because that's going to be really important. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Um, but lots of plunder keywords. So we have Shared Spoils, caring about plunder to help get us some card draw and some buffs. Wolf Rider will be ramping us and also be a bigger overwhelm. And then our Spirit Walkers. This is a card that we don't play that often. Um, if we can get the plunder turned on, make it a, a five mana, six, six overwhelm, and then give our other allies like our... Um, like our Enraged Yetis, make those 5-5s five with Overwhelm also. So lots of cards that care about Plunder. As you can tell, zero champions. So if you're somebody who wants to play kind of a more budget list, um, that's what this is. We got zero champions because instead at the top end, we got Jack the Winner, which turns on Plunder. Our Ursine Spirit Walker, our Riptide Rex, we got these kind of cards at our top end instead of Gangplank and Sejuani and those cards. We know Gangplank and Sejuani are really good. How is this deck without them and with these other cool cards instead? Let's check it out. Let's go play our five games. We're just calling this Powder Yetis for Powder Monkey and Enraged Yeti together with Jagged Taskmaster. All right, we're playing against some Nightfall. Plunder vs. Nightfall. Be a good match. And I like that Spirit Walker. You know what? I'm keeping him. It. It's going to go really well with our Enraged Yeti. We already have good stuff to do early on. Usually Nightfall decks play some smaller uh, units, especially units with less health. And so that's why I'm keeping the Parlay and the Make It Rain. Uh, let's Daybreak. That's not Nightfall. Cheating. <laughs> Can't put those together. Hmm. Just pass. I could, you know, parlay to share its spoils to spend two cards to draw one. Invisible to the ignorant. All right, Trapper Keeper. Forgive me. All right, we got two Enraged Yetis in there. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Let's see. I'm not gonna let them get an easy block with this thing. That'll give me another three three two attack with as well. without me. Actually, I should have gone the Shared Spoils and then, because I probably would grab the Enraged Yeti and then I could have played Enraged Yeti. That's what I should have done right here. Yeah, like I would have just grabbed Enraged Yeti. Should have taken the 6 6. Alright, so we'll probably go Spirit Walker this turn, and then next turn Enrage Yeti plus Enrage Yeti plus something else. Oh, Does yeah. fill my board, and I can make it rain also at that point. Let's see what they got. Darkness hides in my right, it's going elusive. I don't imagine that they would pass turn without attacking. Mother Moon but just in case. The storm approaches! Alright, let's see if we can finish this game here. Oh man. Huh. What did we catch? Destroy 
stories were true. Wax or wane, we do not fear change. Time to get rich. And of course, you want to have the the Stormclaw last because it has to be alive for other allies to have the with the five plus power have overwhelmed no who want to attack with those things first. Fear not death. Must we fight? Hide no longer. Fear not death. Meet destiny. So that will take everything out and put them down to zero. Powder yetis. Uh, that puts them down to one. They tried to blind me with resplendence, but they could not break me. I will take them going to one. Especially with the Maker Rain in hand. Alright, down to one. Sunward. They walked around. I'm just gonna wait on the Maker Rain because while the, the upside would be we hit the things with the overwhelm. I mean, there is just the downside of, like, if we would hit, like, the, the three things that were blocking, not the Overwhelm, if we would have got really unlucky like that, then we wouldn't be, you know, then we would have just lost. Yeah, we got, yeah, that's, that's true, Kordak. I wasn't really even noticing that either. Got lots of viewers in here. Welcome, everybody. Okay, let's see what we got. We got... Leeson. Kind of want to keep all these. I guess we'll get rid of one of these. Let's keep warning shot. I I don't think they're going to have a one health unit for me to parlay. And so we're going to keep something to turn on the shared spoils. I'll just These jewels are more than mere trinkets. No, should have kept the parlay. Well, that's pretty awesome. I want to play... I want to play Taskmaster and Shared Spoils in the same turn. Spilled paint is just accidental. So do I just do nothing this turn? Should have kept Parlay. Heed the paw. All right, pretty rewarded. Let's cast this card first, just to see what we get. Okay, okay. The strong don't want mercy. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. And next, it's easier next turn with our four mana to play the Corsair and the Trapper. The beast awaits. I know their one one's just gonna trade with my two one. Oh well, that's how it is. Back heretic. What? Can I paint you? Oh, all right. Have faith. Oh, 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 oh. Be brave. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, the new overgrown snap binds now a five three. We need to play that next week for Meme Tier Monday. I forgot about that card Into being upgraded. We haven't staring. played that card in a while. Butcher. I guess we're gonna parlay the Mentor of the Stones. Seems like the thing to do. Let's see if they like pale cascade it or something. Nope. Now I got 12 power out there. I'll shoot the wings off it's not of enough. Wasp. Someone deserves your bullet, girl. Going double Corsair. I don't know what they can do before combat, but it's probably not as good as double crack shot Corsair. That's my thinking. All right. Well, if they get like the Silver Sisters, they can't play that card yet. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. I'll shoot the wings off a bilge wasp. Careful where you point that thing. They really buffed up Crackshot Corsair. Oh. It used to be just a little 1-1, one -one. now it's a 3-3. Three -three. 
with a drink. Captain's orders. Bullet to the, the dragon binds us. All right, down to six. Our deck's looking pretty sweet. This was a real good hand for us. That turn three was pretty crazy. Yeah, now we get Enraged Yeti and Jack the Winner. That's awesome. Daylight star. Oh, and there's the Golden skies. Sister, Silver Sister. Called that one. It can't be. Descend upon them. This for action, eh? All right, so how are we gonna attack here? You wanted wrath. Nice, McCracken. You've been enjoying the Elnuk Call of the Wild deck. Cool, cool. I'm through waiting. The beasts will wait. Who likes their odds, eh? All right, let's attack. Insolence. We have no quarrel. All right, looks like we're two and zero with our no champions. Playing some more Lee Sin. Last time the opponent cast zero Lee Sin, so that was good for us. Ooh, I like this hand. Let's keep it. So Butcher or Omen Hawk turn one. Wanna go Omen Hawk. I really hope they don't have a one mana card. Just pass. Just pass. Come on, pass. Because so I want to Omen like to play Omen Hawk turn one. Get that plus one plus one going. Oh, now you have a one drop? No, just pass. Yay. Be able to attack, turn on the plunder, play the Taskmaster. Oh wow, Jack the Winner is even better at a 6-7. Like we're in normal, come on. Alright, Taskmaster in. It's perfect, just what we wanted. It's Draven time! Alright, even better, or even a bigger trapper. Watch and learn. So I think I'm going to go to combat again. I guess we'll see if we draw the Enraged Yeti. I'll probably just go straight to combat, though, to turn on the plunder. Oh, Crackshot Corsair can turn on plunder. Um, So I could play Jagabutch... No, let's just attack. Yeah, I think, I think you're right there, Jack. I think that was just a connection problem. All right, but we got our three damage in. That's important for all these cards. The strong don't want mercy. He started without me. I'll shoot the wings off a bilge wasp. Careful where you point that thing. Extend your senses. Uh. The dragon himself. Who's ready for a show? Our enemies Ouch. cannot hide. I'll see this is a really good turn for them. Getting double removal spell. Ouch, ouch. Sight firm. Prepare yourself. Axes coming right out. No. And I thought I was already perfect. <laughs> it's gonna be tough to win now. I think we just play more big bodies. Yeah, the deck that my opponent's playing um, does look much better when you have the champions. I feel like I have to attack, but I also want to play the Enraged Yeti before I attack. Now we're 
cooking. I'll see this through. My lands need me. Wow, they didn't challenge? I guess they're just keeping this as a barrier for a blocker. Oh, you'll scream. Maybe we should block so I get rid of the barrier? No, I can still just block these other things then too. The 3 2 should not be attacking, I don't think. These stories were true. So it kills my enraged Yeti. But then they take 13 if they don't block with Draven. Time for the money makers. The dragon spirit awakens. Not sure how we're going to get the last three points of damage across. We'll figure that out. I'll see this through. The Draven has Overwhelm, so just blocking with small things doesn't really help that much. Okay, that's going to be game. Right, I guess this has three health. That put me to one. Okay, we can go down to one. No. Our enemies cannot hide. GG's. All right, playing against some they who endure. Sometimes the champions just beat the non-champions. It's just how it happens sometimes. The challenge card that they had that killed my elite, that killed my Jack the Winner, <clears throat> that was devastating, of course. Kill something. <clears throat> Most likely the Jagged Butcher 2 1. Come, stay a while. Oh, that hurts. A tribute to the Spider God. I definitely wish I, wish I could play Taskmaster and a Shared Spoils this turn. You can only do one of them. Maybe it's better to play the Shared Spoils, actually. Yeah, let's do that. I feel like that's more important right now than the plus one plus zero. It's a big trapper. We shall pierce their treasonous us. Go ahead, attack with the champions. Go ahead. Do it. I'll shoot the wings off a bilge wasp. Careful where you point that thing. Um this angry for action, eh? I don't really know. I think I never played collector. I don't really know how I'm doing 18 damage right now. We just can't attack right now. Um, Riptide Rex could be really important. Getting rid of some of this other stuff. My complete. Stormclaw Ursine is the card that we want more than any other card. Because the Stormclaw Ursine would give things overwhelm, and I definitely want to be able to give things overwhelm. 
Yep, not too surprising. Need to give things overwhelm. I mean, if I'm them, I'm just vile piecing one of these other. Like, I would probably vile piece this Avaros infantry. You wanted wrath. That's what I'm doing if I'm them, and just leveling up Callista. Keep the enraged yet yet a lot of health to block Callista. Lock the doors. I don't know how they did nothing last turn. I definitely think they should have vile feasted the sentry. Put on another card, freed up a spot. Say your farewells. Can't win them all, eh? All right, we're just going to block everything, take the damage either way. We'll block everything, so now our, our Riptide Rex has to kill these things, right? Has to. Yeah, we just play Rex first. I was thinking about, like, with Dayhoon Endure, should I wait? Should I play it first? All right, cool. The first... Bullets are killing the Neverglade Collector, so they won't get another drain. Their plan is just they who endure, and they don't have anything else. We can kill them by just attacking, and they block like the eight five and take all of this. That will be enough damage for lethal. What's that noise? That's annoying. <clears throat> Being a good blocker. I promised a bloodbath. Cowards the lot of you. Hopefully no spells. They don't have any spells. This is good. All right, GG's. Came back and won that one. Three and one. My guess would be like the, I mean, it's either gonna be like the 21st or the 28th. It's gonna be one of those two of October. All right, see ya, Rex. I guess see a spirit walker. I get some earlier cards, but okay. Well, I guess we don't get to mulligan. We're gonna keep our spirit walker and our Rex, and we're not gonna get earlier cards either. We're gonna just get another five drop. Okay, so so far drawing as bad as we could. So far. Sunlight guided my brethren. What's the better three drop to play? Monkey Idol or Avarosen Trapper? I guess it's Trapper. Uh, we're in Master's rank. I don't know how much points I have in Master's Rank. It's meme tier day though today, so we are currently just playing normal. And Powder Monkey Powder Monkey gives me a good blocker against Yasuo. The dawn has arrived. With its light, the Solari will unite the heavens. Cool. Kill the 1-1. One, one. Also turned on Plunder. Let's go Stormclaw here. Next turn we can go like Jack and Enraged Yeti. 
Recall with Solari Priestess is pretty cool. I guess it's better with Lunari Priestess. That's still pretty cool either way. Let fury spill from the sky. So if I attack right now, if they want to block, they have to be blocking with these things. It's still probably worth just playing Catch. Enrage Jetty and Jack the Winner that are going to be overwhelmed. They can't just play like Daybreak card and stun. Like this has to be leveled up before it stuns. They could have like the five mana, like stun everything that cost that has like four or less power, and that would kind of be devastating, but then I'd still have these two very big overwhelms. That's unfortunate. Terrain here is a pity. Not overwhelm anymore. Back heretic. That's still eleven damage if they don't want to kill one of their champions. Or twelve, because right, then the powder monkey does an additional one. No more running. So yeah, they gotta block with the champions. I will protect you. feel pretty good about winning this one. They're at three. I'm creating sleep with the fishes. I got powder monkey in play. I got warning shot. <laughs> Feeling pretty good about this one. May our light shine forever. I am the bulwark against darkness. You gonna stop that? Now you nope. Cry. All right, they're sleeping with the fishes. That's a win, four and one. No champions, no problem. So there we go, there's our powder yetis. You want a cool little deck with, with no champions? It does have quite a bit of epics, like Taskmaster, <clears throat> Riptide Rex, Jack the Winner, those are all epics. Um, so, you know, we've got three epics in here, but um, still kind of budgety with no champions. And just got to use Powder Monkeys and Enraged Yetis. That was pretty cool. Never did anything with Wolf Rider, um, but Taskmaster did did pretty well. We got good one drops. We're making, we're buffing up those one drops. Could see the Wolf Rider just being more removal spells or more spells. There's not really great spells to play, but... Um, yeah. Yeah, this is a good Ursine Spirit Walker deck. That's the kind of thing about this card, is like, this card can be pretty good, but you really need to put this in it. I think you have to play this with Bilgewater. Like, you have to put this in a, in a deck that is able to turn on Plunder very consistently, because you need this thing to be a 6-6 Overwhelm. But it's the kind of... The hard part about this card is you have to put it... So, that's step one, is you got to put it in a, in a deck that really cares about Plunder and makes it a lot easier to turn on Spirit Walker. So you're looking at like Bilgewater, Bilgewater Freljord. But then part two is like, well, if you're playing Bilgewater Freljord, don't you just wanna be playing Gangplank and Sejuani, like those cards if you really care about Plunder? So then it, it's really difficult to play this card, but I wanted to show it off, I wanted to play it. Um, so I wanted to play it without champs, because you can, it's still really powerful. It's still, um, you know, maybe it's not quite as good as Sejuani, but it, it, it can be at times. All right, those y'all watching later on YouTube, this camera's over here now. <laughs> those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Um, whatever, you know, leave those comments. What do you want to see on Meme Tier Monday for next week um, or just any other decks in the, in the stream? And, you know, any decks that you're enjoying, that you're having fun with, feel free to um, put them down there in the YouTube comments. And I'll check it out. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.